Welcome to Swolehammer. As we've gotten deeper into the thickets of Gur, it must be said that Warcry 2.0 is an improvement over its first edition. However, holdover snags and some flawed designs still linger, and we wanted to address what we think Warcry needs to fix going forward. Before we get into it, I want to mention that the ideas are meant to be constructive. It's not my intention to be negative, but these are issues that need to be addressed. Starting off with the first fix, and it's we need a consistent match play format for Warcry. Warcry 2 launched last year with fairly loose rules on what can and cannot be taken in your warband for tournaments. The only mention being on the official GW Warcry event packet on a specific award requirement. This encouraged local tournaments to push monsters and allies into the meta. Now while Warcry isn't the most competitive quote unquote tabletop game out there, we here at Swolehammer don't want monsters, allies, or thralls in match play. The game is hardly balanced between the compendium warbands, let alone with ally shenanigans included. Then honestly, if you want to run monsters, play Age of Sigmar. They're out of place in Warcry outside of narrative campaigns. In 2023, we simply want GW to give a more engaging structure for Warcry's match play because there is fun to be had. However, every tournament having different house rules everywhere muddles a meta that is hardly there and stifles the game's growth. Number two on our list is we want less extreme damage and movement. The difference in normal damage to critical hit damage in Warcry was already too swingy. But now a lot of fighters have gotten nerfed to have base 1 damage in the game while maintaining crits of up to 4 or 5 damage now. This is exhibited in a ton of unpredictable and unfun moments in games of Warcry 2.0, and this needs to be addressed. Harkening back to my 3 things Warcry could learn from Kill Team video, one of the biggest things I enjoy about Kill Team is the crit damage is usually only 1 to 2 points higher than a regular hit. 2 slash 3 and 3 slash 4 are pretty standard damage profiles in Kill Team, while 4 slash 6 and such are used for harder hitting profiles, and this feels better for gameplay. With the nerfing of damage profiles to base 1, a lot of Warcry 2.0 games feel meandering unless you happen to roll a ton of 6s, on top of the fact that Warcry in general has a way higher wound count than Kill Team so it only makes sense for the damage profiles to kind of baseline go higher. On the flip side, having high movement in the game has led to toxic interactions, especially on treasure-based battle plans. While the attempt was made in 2nd edition to nerf treasure holders by reducing their move and getting rid of fly, movement needs to just be reined in a little. I think that would be the best and simplest fix overall. The lowest move models move at 3 inches, which is crippling, while at the highest, Models can move 12 inches in a single action, which is absurd. As a ballpark suggestion, the slowest models should probably move 4 inches, and the fastest should rarely reach 10. Honorable mention, give corn demons hero abilities. This one is a mystery to me. My beloved corn demons are the only warband in the entire game that do not have hero abilities. This was in first edition, and when Warcry 2.0 released, that section remained empty. Please whoever works on the Warcry team, just fix this. And possibly the biggest change we need to see that is the smallest fix, and that's make reactions better by fixing weight. Reactions were the big addition to Warcry 2.0, and they definitely introduced an interesting element to the game. However, the weight action stifles the ease of use and overall quality of reactions. One of the most misunderstood rules sequencing in Warcry is being able to move, then wait, and use a reaction later. However, after triple checking the rules on this, wait is an action and thus uses the second action of your fighter. Then you cannot use your reaction and we think this should be changed. Wait needs to function as a way to store an action, only to be used for a reaction later if eligible. Otherwise, it remains in its current state, which is pretty much passing on a fighter for hopes of using a reaction later and that's it. Not really that engaging of gameplay. So that's it! Thanks for watching! Obviously a lot of these can be kind of controversial, but at the same time, after talking to over like half a dozen other Warcry players, these seem crucial and really need to be looked at for the health of Warcry, and also just for it to be a bigger and better game in the future. Either way, whether you agree or disagree, leave a comment, and as always, this is Rafiq with Swolehammer. Stay swole.